All right, what is going on guys? Today I got a different type of stream for you. I'm gonna go over how to become a millionaire in Axie Infinity. As you know, I've been at this for around three months and of course, if I'm gonna go into a game and put a heavy investment in, I'm gonna show you why I did it. So right off the bat, we know SLP has been dropping and a lot of people who are on the outside and wanna know, is there earning mechanics? Can you earn a lot of money playing this game? And I'm gonna go over and go over all the ways that I earn money in this game and show you why I think for myself it's a good investment advice and for some other people, I probably wouldn't even enter. Um, again, this is not financial advice, this is just my opinion showing you how to become a millionaire. So in Axie Infinity, there's a lot of ways to make money. So number one way to make a lot of money in Axie Infinity, so we got one here, we got two here, and all of these guys, we're gonna go all the way up to six because I think there's at least six ways to make money here. So number one way you can make money in Axe Infinity is one, play the game. Guys, when you play the game in Axe Infinity, you get SLP rewards. Um, I actually live in Canada, so I get Canadian dollars. Because of that, um, I can make quite a bit of money. So even with SLP cut in half, I think I make probably around, if I had 20 energy in the game, around $300 a month, I think. So let, let's break this down actually. I'd make, I'd make around 200 SLP a day. If you times 200 SLP times 30, I make around 6,000 SLP a month. So before I was making, when SLP was around 10 cents, when SLP was around 10 cents, I was making around $600 a month. Now, this is how much I think SLP will be for the long-term average. That's just how I feel. I could be wrong. But right now, SLP is half of that. So because it is 5 cents Canadian, I'm making around $300 a month. So that was at 20 energy. But however, however, um, 200 SLP times 300 days. I'm actually at 400 energy. So I'm actually probably making around, honestly, around anywhere between 450, um, 450 SLP per day. So that's around $675 a month I get from just playing a video game. Absolutely um, incredible. By the way, guys, we're rocking with Gia. Gia says, I wanna be a millionaire. Little Softy says, why me? I'm not the best either. All right, guys, we're gonna keep going, guys, on how to be a millionaire. The second way you can make money is breeding. So breeding is when you make your axes make sweet, passionate love, guys. When your axie, when one axie, when a mama axie likes a papa axie, guys, it makes you money in this game. So on average, guys, if you play the game, you'll realize what the meta axes are, especially if you start to rank up, you'll realize which teams are gonna be profitable. Now, breeding is a love-hate relationship. There's some people who are purely breeders and they're really just trying to pump out the best axes in the game. One thing I'll say about this, guys, is I personally don't breed for high profit margins. I think there's way too much risk there. And if you're really trying to breed, you want to get all of the different technologies. You want to get the GitHub goodies, basically, I call them. And you want to get the coding, the programs that find you those very cheap axes. But if you're just someone who breeds for a scholarship program like me, you can probably make around, you know, if you have a decent breeding plan, after th breeding three axes, you can probably make $200 while doing it. Um, so I'll say I have 100 axes, guys. So overall, I have 100 axes. And by breeding instead of just buying, I was probably able to save for every three axes divided by three. And guys, this is just head math. I was probably able to save around $100. So this is the amount I saved. So I probably made total here. So <clears throat> again, I probably made around this times this. Just by breeding, I probably saved $3,000 of value. So if I sold all my 100 axes today, I'd have an additional $3,000 from breeding. Now, some of your breeds go lower in value, some of them go higher in value, but because again, I run a scholarship program, if you guys know Axe Infinity, you know when you have three axes, you can play 20 games and earn money, but when you have 10 axes, you can play 40 games and make money on your 40 games. 
And because of that, I really don't have that much risk on breeding. Even if my axes lose value, I can still either sell them or give them to scholars and have them earn sweet, juicy SLP. So that brings us to number three, guys scholarship program this is the third way people make money in axie infinity by the way guys if you haven't already make sure you like the video gs says hoping to have an axie to be a millionaire like you boss <laughs> definitely i wish i was a millionaire but axie is a way to make one become a millionaire so the million dollar question is guys why did i start a scholarship program i think it's very obvious because a scholarship program gives you a lot of different ways to earn money. So essentially, if a scholar earns, so remember we got the 675 number for having 40 energy, but realistically, from having 20 energy, a scholar can earn around $300 a month. I, for the first three months, get 40%. After that, it's around 45, then it goes up to 50 and 60, but we'll just call it for this 50 50 right we'll call it 50 50 because after a couple of months that's what it goes up to so if i'm earning 50 percent of this right and i have 20 scholars then we do 20 times this i can earn around three thousand dollars per month from having 20 scholars so again that's a lot of money and guys what if instead of 20 scholars we had 40 scholars or we had a thousand scollars so if we had a thousand scholars that's 150,000 a month it's very advantageous to start a scholarship program because you're able to make a bunch of money um, passively while you sleep because other people are playing the game for you number four if you want to become a millionaire in Axie Infinity Guys, there is something called AXS farming. So right now, if you go to a bank like RBC or you know Morgan Stanley or any of these companies, they're gonna give you like 1% interest. Guys, from playing Axie Infinity, you know how much interest they're gonna give you. You know how much they're gonna give you, guys. Guys, I'm gonna show you something. And the reason I wanna create this video is, Right now I have a scholarship program. A lot of scholars, my scholars watch my videos and I want to go over the mindset of an investor and how they can start earning wealth for themselves. So one of the things, once you get paid in SLP guys, this is a site here, it's in my Discord in the manager section, but this is a site where you can stake your AXS rewards. So right now they're paying you 115% on your investment so if you put $100 in today, in a year from now, it will be $200. Now, of course, if crypto drops by 50%, then your $100 will still be worth $100, even though it doubled. I know it sounds crazy, but you know, hey, it's crypto, your investment can drop 100%. But in Axie Infinity, using the Katana, you can actually swap out your SLP for AXS. So if you had SLP here, you could select a token like AXS and you could literally swap it. Same with your Ethereum. You can swap it to AXS if you want. So just like this and all you do is click swap and once it's swapped and you have your AXS, guys, you can come to this here and you can stay here AXS. So right now I have 1K in and in just like two days, I have 0.1063 AXS which if you do the conversion to USD, 0 0.1063 times 95.6, you can see the 95.6, that's $10 from it just sitting in my account doing nothing, guys. So this is a great way to earn passive income all the time. Rico says, thank you, sir. You have a really, really big pure heart. Rico, I appreciate it. Kev Bunn says, how much was the axes when you entered the game and how much did you invest initially, guys? So in total, my total investment, when I first jumped in the game, I first invested 1,600 and axes were really, really expensive, guys. I did not get super meta axes and they were still cost me 1,600 Canadian dollars. Um, this is probably around 1,100 American dollars at the time. 
now that the game has gone cheaper i started to think about you know how much we could make i think i can get my investment back in a year guys right now i probably spent out of my own money and this is crypto earnings as well probably 22,000 Canadian. That's the number that seems right from all my cash that I'm putting in, 22,000 Canadian, which again, if we just go and we divide this number by one, two, six, it's around 17,000 American dollars I probably put in this game. Seems about right. And this return on our money, we're gonna see at the end how long it would take to return that. So guys, fifth way to really get rich off of Axie Infinity is YouTube, Twitch, social media. So one of the big reasons, okay, so AXS Farming, I'm gonna put a number here. I'm gonna say I've made around $100 per month. Seems right, not too scientific, but this is from me investing around this is from me investing around a balance of 2,000 Canadian. I'm earning around $100 per month. That seems about how much I'm investing. Also guys, I didn't even go over Ron Farming. Um, let's put Ron Farming here. So if you're someone who's really into Ethereum, really into AXS and gaming tokens, not only can you make money by AXS investing, but you can make money from ron farming now in the katana and again in my discord so in the group you can see my discord we have a section called managers right here and this manager has all of these links going over katana going over staking and going over how to breed guys so if you click that link there's actually a section here that lets you farm so by creating an axs with pair by just staking your crypto, locking it away so you can't touch it for one day or two days or however, you're able to have this beautiful run amount here where they're basically paying you out a piece of this daily reward. And what is the Ron token? Guys, again, Ron, the Ronin chain is the second biggest chain behind Ethereum. You're getting its official token, the ether of the Ron chain. This is gonna be big, not financial advice, but I think it's gonna go to the moon. GS says, loving your stream so much, helps me and I'm learning much. Thank you so much. Cat says, claiming the positive energy here. Guys, got to love it. All right, so number five, as I said again, YouTube, Twitch, social media. So the main thing with running a scholarship program is, guys, one of the reasons why I run a scholarship program is because by using Twitch and YouTube, I can create training videos for my scholars, help them get better. Therefore, they get higher MMR and get a higher SLP rewards for themselves. And the other thing that really helps is eventually YouTube, Twitch, will grow and have incomes for themselves, right? So right now on Twitch, every three months, I probably only make like $100 every three months. Not that profitable. On YouTube, I'm actually not even making any money yet. However, the way that these systems work is once you are able to catch on a trend and really ride that trend, you're able to make a ton of money. If we go on YouTube right now, for years and years and years on YouTube and look at look at my channel here <laughs> on YouTube chilling so on YouTube if we go to someone like meet Kevin net worth right inside my 52 million portfolio at age 29 if we go to someone like Graham Stephan net worth right my entire $13 million portfolio at 30 years old. And then my $20 million portfolio at 31. This is a guy who doubled his net worth in one year. And if you looked at the finance world four years ago, finance was not catching on. No one watched on YouTube. And now all of a sudden, everyone's watching it and YouTubers are getting lots of money. Guys, I think one of the biggest, basically, trends that's gonna happen is NFT gaming. It just makes too much sense. <laughs> the gaming market is always one of the bigger video markets on YouTube and NFT gaming 
I think personally is going to make sense. What is the biggest NFT game? Of course, it is this game. So guys, you're already playing the game anyway. When if you stream your game and you become one of the top people in the game, so people want to watch you, what's going to happen? Your YouTube and Twitch is going to grow. And then from there, you'll have an income source that you can either reinvest in your scholarship program, or invest in access farming or invest in your breeding or invest into playing the game and buying a better team for yourself. Now, number five, networking and tournaments. Networking slash tournaments. So in this game, if you want, you can go and play tournaments for AXS rewards. There's one, a tournament that just happened where they gave out 75 AXS. As you know, 75, if you times it by the 95, um that the axs price they gave a prize pool of seven thousand usd dollars guys that's a lot of money but we're doing a tournament for ourselves. what's great about hosting your own tournament is eventually i'll invite other streamers in have axs rewards and it's a great way to meet streamers when you host tournaments yourself you're more likely to get invited for you and your scholars to other tournaments and i think that is a phenomenal way to earn money so youtube and twitch right now hundred dollars every th every three months right now i'm only making thirty dollars a month from youtube and twitch so nothing really networking tournaments i'm actually making zero dollars from this right now um and then we go to the last one guys number seven scholars become managers so the reason i'm doing this video right now is because being able to sh show not only people watching it who want to get into Axie Infinity, but also scholars how your manager is thinking and how you could eventually be a manager if you wanted to and be able to make assets for yourself. So playing the game, you can make $675 a month, which is a lot. But you can see by running a scholarship program or farming or doing YouTube or having your own scholarship program, you can make $3,000 a month or you can make $6,000 a month, depending on how big your scholarship is goes. Now, obviously, I invested a lot of money, $22,000, but you can work up to this amount by reinvesting your profits. And that's what I'm doing. All the money I'm making is Axe Infinity. I'm not touching any of it. I'm just reinvesting, buying, buying more. And that's why we're able to have 100 Axes. So in my program, how do I want to approach this? Eventually, I think, originally I thought when I had a scholar join my program, I thought they were only going to be there for maybe five months, seven months, and then buy their own team. However, what I realized is that every season a balanced patch can happen and all of a sudden your team value is 30 percent less and you're not able to earn as much slp because your team is less competitive so what i'm thinking and i still need to work out the details is i think scholars don't want to buy their own team anymore scholars want to buy their own scholars they want to actually farm axs they want to breed their own axes they want to use the ecosystem to have ways for themselves to earn so what i'm thinking and i've seen bryson do something similar but how can scholars become their own scholar managers become their own scholar managers and i think this is the absolute key to really becoming um wealthy within the axe universe so by the way, guys, we're here with Rose. Rose, what is going on? Yes, scholarships are in the Discord. Keith says, what did I miss? Um, Lil Softy says, two weeks before the season ends. Yes, guys, season ends January 4th. Um, so scholars becoming their own managers. Basically, the program, and I still gotta think of how I'm gonna do this, is if scholars wanna buy the, uh, you know, ax teams for their own scholars, maybe what we can do here is a scholar can buy two axes for their own scholar and the guild will provide you know the little pig flight crew that's the guild that's the flight crew we always say fly will provide one axi for rental right essentially this axi ensures that maybe they'll have two plants but this actually ensures that the scholar will have at least one meta axi that they can use for their scholar so all of a sudden if the meta changes the balance changes uh, balance change happens the scholar can exchange this rental axi 
for another one from my program to make sure that their scholar that they have is always can compete at the highest MMRs. And so we'll do either one or two. I don't know. I'm still working it out. And essentially, maybe we'll do something where it's either for renting the Axie, it's either 10% or 20% for the first three months and then 10% for the next nine months. I still need to work out these percentages, what makes sense, what makes sense for the risk and everything. But that way, instead of a scholar buying their own team and then all of a sudden, so Bryson was saying a story, or I forget if it was someone else, where a scholar bought his own team, the team became uncompetitive, and then the scholar came back to the program. Instead of that happening, um, a scholar can reinvest their earnings to make sure that they're able to buy their own meta team um, and rent one from the program. That way that their scholars, the scholar scholars can always stay competitive. And this, eventually, this loop, allows you to be in a place where all of a sudden sure i can be the manager manager could have 20 scholars but then five of those scholar or one of those scholars one of those scholar managers could manage five of his own scholars and then that way all of a sudden this manager has had to manage the scholar managers and then these scholars here because this scholar manager probably doesn't have all of the capital to you know run his own scholarship program they can still leverage little pig flagger and grow their own wealth and have passive wealth so i'm gonna work with some of my scholars um any of the ones that feel interested and see what actually makes sense for this but i think this could be something where if someone doesn't want to take the risk and buy their own scholarship team they can you know buy their own scholar for someone else and hopefully become effective so again you're seeing this amount of money and you're like hey this isn't a million dollars this is only this is only seven thousand dollars why still what gives well hey let's little softy says i know some offer rents to own teams yeah i've been seeing that so because i've been seeing that i've been like okay rent to own like for instance if i'm gonna let someone rent a double aqua team right and rent to own they're gonna be at 800 MMR this season, but next season they're gonna be at 1,000 MMR. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> no scholar is gonna take that risk of buying out their own team or playing with it and then having a team that they can't exchange for higher scholars. So some method of either, you know, rents to, I don't know, I don't even know the name for it. Again, this is, I guess, cutting edge scholar technology, so I'm, I'm not sure, but Right now you're seeing that this is only $7,000. You're like, hey, Fly Stewie, this isn't a million dollars. But how do we get to a million dollars, guys? So let's figure out how much we make a month for this, right? So in a month, I know I make 675, right? From playing the game. For my scholarship program, I probably make this every three months, $1,000 from breeding. From the scholarships, we know we make 3,000 a month. Excess farming, I know I make 100 a month. And from YouTube and Twitch, I know I make this amount. Network, I make zero. And Scholars, I currently make zero. But let's say in the future, I can make 10% of what I'm making now based on my percentages. Um, so if we take this right here, this times that so i can probably make this in the future from scholars managing their own scholars having a 10 or 20 percent split there so again that's around five thousand dollars per month i make so if that's around if this is what i make per month this amount here then what happens if instead of having 20 scholars we have 100 scholars all of a sudden I'm making 20,000 a month. And if I enroll a hundred scholars is realistically, you know, if you divide that by 12, that's only adding eight additional scholars per month. So with adding eight scholars a month, you're making 200,000 per year just from doing that. And again, instead of a hundred scholars, what if we had a thousand scholars, we're adding 83 scholars a month. 
And again, $83 a month might sound hard, but again, if your scholars are basically managing their own teams, it's not as hard as it's things. You're making over 100,000 a month. So again, being able to make money, not from just you playing the game, but doing all these steps is an easy step, easier way to make, be, become a millionaire and make a million dollars playing this game. And of course, you know, what's the success rate of Axie's economy not crashing and becoming a game and being here for 10 years from now? I would say it's the chances are between 30 and 40%. 30, 40% to build a business that can make you a million dollars is not a bad idea. Anyways, if you like these type of economic videos where I go over like how to make money in the Axie Infinity, how to become a millionaire in Axie Infinity and break it down, guys, let me know. But as always, it's been your boy, Fly Stewie in the building. Swag is over on 5,000 trillion. And we, Fly Crew, have to take off. I will see you guys next time.